huge range of speakers. Can you tell us a bit about them? Sure can, Tanya. This is an Australian made range of speakers. Now that's pretty unusual today because most things are imported. But there are quite a number of companies out there who have a real passion for music and Subsonic are a couple of people who really have that desire to make a really good sounding product at a very affordable price. This is the X series of speakers. It's a what you could call a budget range of speakers but only in price point, not in performance. These products have been designed by Duncan Best, the owner of Subsonic, and his right-hand man, Brad Sahan. These particular speakers sound very good on both music and movies. And that's very, very important for a lot of people today who tell us that they have a 50-50 sort of music-movie type balance. So Tanya, this is where Subsonic got its name from, making subwoofers. They were one of the first companies to really bring together a very good subwoofer, again, at a modest price. Now you'll notice here this is a very large driver, as we call it, a woofer. It's actually a subwoofer driver. It's been specially designed by the guys at Subsonic to be able to handle the very low frequencies that we need in those low-level bass tracks in both movies and music. In fact, the only thing better than one Subsonic subwoofer, in my opinion, is two Subsonic subwoofers. And a lot of people actually find that rather interesting, that why do I need two? But it's not for more bass, but for better bass. So they have three in the range here. Uh, they have the XS1, which is their flagship uh, unit. It's available typically in black, or for a little bit extra you can get it in a timber, a timber finish. And then we have the XS2 and the XS3. And of course they match in with the main speakers XM1s, XM2s, XM3s. But you can put together a combination of all products. So to complement those floor standing speakers, they actually have two centre speakers, two sets of rear speakers, and three subwoofers. And they can be used in a number of combinations. So over here we have the small centre speaker, which uh, fits in quite nicely under most uh, TV systems. But for people who want to buy something like the XM1s here, the large, sound, uh, large model speaker, there's also a matching centre speaker. And they're quite unusual in the fact that they not only have two drivers, which is not uncommon today, but you'll notice that Subsonic used two identical tweeters in, uh, to match up to the main speakers. And that gives a very nice spread, particularly on voices. And a lot of people comment to us that it's a very natural sound. For technical specifications and more information on the Subsonic speaker range, visit www.audiotrends.com.au and follow the links.